Hi everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and today we are making our favorite chocolate chip cookies. These are big, soft, and loaded with melty morsels of chocolate. These cookies stay soft for days. In a large mixing bowl, combine two sticks or one cup of softened unsalted butter with one cup of light brown sugar and half a cup of granulated sugar. Cream those together on medium high speed until smooth. You'll need two room temperature eggs. Add them one at a time, beating well with each addition. Now mix in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. In a separate small mixing bowl, combine three cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Whisk that together, then add it to the creamed mixture in thirds. Adding it in thirds makes it much easier to blend. For the cookies to rise properly, make sure to measure your flour correctly by spooning it into the measuring cup and scraping off the top. And last but not least, add two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips and fold those into the batter just until well combined. This cookie dough is the perfect consistency. Now you can roll your cookie dough balls by hand, but I find it easier to use a trigger release ice cream scoop. The cookies all end up the same size and they bake up more evenly. I also like to stud the tops of the cookie balls with a few extra chocolate chips for a prettier cookie. This recipe makes 21 large cookies. Arrange them on two parchment lined cookie sheets and bake one sheet at a time. You can freeze or refrigerate the second batch for another day. And I will leave instructions for that in the recipe post. Bake in the center of a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 13 to 15 minutes or until the edges are just turning golden. The tops should still look a little underbaked when you pull them out of the oven. <laughs> Cookies are ready. Okay, and you wanna let these rest on the baking sheet for about five minutes once they come out of the oven because they're super soft and they'll be hard to transfer. You don't want them to break unless it's in your mouth. <laughs> okay, um, goofy jokes aside, I'm ready for this taste test. Okay, so transfer those to a baking rack and let them cool a little bit, but I like to eat them while they're still warm and that chocolate is melty and gooey. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna jump right into this taste test. I've got my milk here. You definitely wanna be ready with that. Okay, here we go. Let's pick a big fluffy one. That's pretty much all of them. <laughs> okay, this one looks promising. And take a look inside. Look at this. It is so soft. These are fully baked, but you still have that amazing cookie dough consistency inside. And they are so, so chocolatey. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Wow, okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go. This just made my day. <laughs> oh, and a little swig of milk. Perfect. <laughs> These have the perfect balance of sweetness and chocolate. They're wonderful. And so moist and gooey and soft and fluffy and tall. Look at this. Mmm. <laughs> My kids go wild for these. I haven't told them that these are out of the oven yet because they're just gonna fly right off of this cutting board. So good. And I love that you don't have to wait for these. There's no resting, there's no refrigerating, although you can if you want to. I like to make half of the batch now and leave the other half of the batch for tomorrow or the next day. So good. I hope this becomes a new favorite recipe for you. Try it and you'll probably never look for another cookie, chocolate chip cookie recipe again. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, give us a great big thumbs up below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you later. Oh, cookie. <laughs> hey, if you guys like 
quick and easy desserts that'll satisfy your sweet tooth, check out some of our favorites right over there and right down there. And click below to subscribe and when you do, bing, click that little bell icon and you'll get notifications every time we post a new recipe. We'll see you next time.